Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Janine, and this is my husband. Kebab. Kayla. And we post every Thursday, and for today's vlog, we wanna talk about habits. Healthy, holy habits. Habits that we do on a daily basis just to stay healthy, to stay on track with faith, working out, food, all sorts of things like that. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Subscribe if you're new here, and let's get into it. Tired. <laughs> She's so particular on the bed. I am. We have a queen bed right now. Babe, how's the how's the queen bed in married life? It's not terrible, but it's not the best. We're getting we just ordered a king bed yesterday though. Yeah, we did. We're getting it from Castlery. It's a really cool bed. But this room is pretty tiny, so it's gonna be interesting. To they see. say that a king bed saves marriages, but I've a queen bed. That. Guys, my worst nightmare has come true. It's a big boy. There's a dead roach in the house. <gasps> no, don't say that, don't say that. Oh my gosh, stop, stop, stop. Get it away from me. Dude, that had a long whisker. Oh, stop, I literally wanna throw up. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. Right now. Ew, just put it away, babe, please. I'm a chiropractor. Stop! <laughs> You're I'm messed up. Make, you know those chiropractor videos on TikTok? Why don't we should just get like a bunch of roaches? Baby, and just go, no. Literally go, stop. Right It'd be hilarious. Roaches, I have an absolute phobia. Like, I, I, my whole body is like <laughs> Okay, I know this is like a random thing, but like, we probably get roaches once every three months, and every time I find them, they're always dead on their back. I'm like, how? We have pest control, so I'm sure they like die by that or whatever, but they're never like, they, they, how are they die on their back? I'm like, did they just die and then just plop over? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Past 30, let's say 34 days, 35 days. I haven't missed a morning. First things first, AG1, and this is not sponsored, so um, it is the truth. I have like the world's worst stomach problems. I'd wake up every single morning with a sour stomach, um, and AG1 has genuinely changed that. Then I do a little vitamin D3, K2 drops. So I drink this before coffee every morning, which kind of sucks because I usually like drinking my coffee first, um, but this I think works better on an empty stomach. I agree. Well, you're supposed to drink it on an empty stomach, so. Here we go. I like the taste personally. Yeah, it's not bad. This is proof that I do drink it. I like the taste. I put the vitamin D3 in it this time. Mm. Okay, so I don't do this every morning, but at least once a week, I write down what I'm thankful for, the things I need to improve on, and then prayer requests, things I want God to, uh, to work on, so. What I do is I read a chapter a day in the Bible, and then I journal as well, so I just journal the whole page. Depends on the timing of the day. Usually I am kind of rushing around, so I'll either journal before bed if I'm rushing up to my workout. Today we're just gonna go do our own workout so I had a little bit more time. So I love journaling just about my thoughts, my prayers, things I'm going through, and things honestly I want to remember. And so I love, love, love journaling. Highly recommend it. 
and our quiet times are done and now we're gonna get ready to go to the gym. Another habit that I do every single day is I always lay out my workout clothes the night before so I don't have decision fatigue. I just grab it and we get going. And here is today's outfit. This is Fabletics, Fabletics, and my new Hoka Match 4 shoes. Okay, so we're leaving for the gym. Um, every morning before I leave the gym, I go in and make my little drink. It's five grams of creatine plus my amino acids. Um, and then I just sip on it during the workout, which is great because it just helps me keep hydrated throughout the workout, helps with muscle recovery, things like that. Okay, we're in here. The best gym in Dallas. Are you sure about that? Yeah, Mark Cuban goes here. That's true. I also changed my shoes. I realized I'm doing leg day today and hokas are not good for that. Okay, workout is done. We are at Chop Shop, one of our favorite restaurants here in Dallas. Um, they have the best menu, super healthy, and just great for any time of the day, truly. So shout out to you, Chop Shop. Caleb is here. We, I need to go home and work. I need to shoot some stuff for Fabletics. I need to do some podcast stuff. Getting my nails done today. I will say another habit that I really do feel like helps a lot is having a good, satiating, healthy meal that will sustain you throughout the day with a lot of protein, vegetables. Like try not to eat overly processed things that are just gonna make you hungry in an hour. They're not gonna really satisfy your stomach or even just hold you throughout the day. So having fiber, proteins, vegetables, all that type of stuff is gonna be really beneficial when you're eating. I learned that from a nutritionist years ago and it has carried me through many, many years, many days. And so instead of eating smaller portions of like random snacks of the day, have like three good hearty meals that will hold you over the whole day. So this is what I got today, Thai coconut curry. Caleb got a delicious sandwich. He's making friends with someone over there. Making friends. What's something weird that you do? So, no matter what, like, doesn't matter. Before I eat, I have to go to the restroom and pee. No matter, even if I have to pee or not, it's like, I don't want to sit down and then later have to pee. You know what I mean? Totally get it. I go to the bathroom every time before you. Did you wash your hands? I did. Janine's about to do the podcast. Podcast time. A little behind the scenes. Happy and healthy every Tuesday. Link below. Hello, I am your host Janine Amapola, and welcome back to another episode of Happy and Healthy. I'm on my way to get my nails done. I mentioned that to you guys. My nails are very outgrown. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I think I'm gonna do a bright pink. I'm trying out this new salon here in Dallas called Glow Nails and uh, we'll see how it goes, but I think it's gonna be good. One of my friends goes here and she loves it and I'm excited to check it out. Okay, I just did my hair. They didn't have time and I didn't schedule um, a girl to do my styling. So I just did it myself. The coloring looks so much better. I love it. Okay, I'm sitting in traffic. Uh, since the pandemic, traffic in Dallas has become horrible because so many, excuse me, so many people moved here. Also, here are my nails, pink nails. I don't love the color. They were not the color I was quite expecting, but that's okay. They'll be gone in two weeks. 
So now Caleb and I are on our way. He's meeting me there. We're getting dinner with some friends that are actually moving out of the country in like two weeks. So we're just kind of doing like a goodbye party and they're also recently pregnant. So we're just gonna celebrate them. We're going to this amazing restaurant called Hudson House. It's so good, highly recommend in Dallas. So that is where we're heading off to now. I also love my hair. I'm so glad I got it toned. It needed it badly. Okay, here's Hudson House. Do you like my nails or no? Yeah, all right. I'm not a big pink guy. They're not actually my favorite, but it's okay. It's for Valentine's Day. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it is the next day. Yeah. I'm getting ready really fast because we have a meeting in the next like 40 minutes and Caleb is doing the dishes right now and I am rushing. Um, so I'm also filming a podcast in person. I'm super excited. I'll bring you guys along with me. It's with Jenny Allen and she's one of my mentors, but also... She's just an amazing leader and speaker and writer and all the things. And so just so excited to go film with her on our podcast. She has a new book. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, and then I just wanted to sit down and catch up with you guys. So as you know, I posted my wedding video and that was just like such, oh, the sliding is going to be fluctuating quite a bit because I'm filming by the window. So sorry. But my wedding literally was my dream come true. I didn't really get to talk much about that, but you guys saw the wedding video. I cried so much and our videographer just did so amazing. I mean, literally did a dream job for us. And the only thing that like people will always ask me like, did anything go wrong at your wedding? And yes, but nothing that I like really, that really like ruined the day. So, our guest list, like for some reason, somehow, um, people at our wedding that were the singles, like for some reason, we only had couples on the seating chart. So like when people would go to look for their name and find their table, it only had couples. So all the single people came up to me and they were like, I don't know where I'm sitting. And I was like, what? And so that was a little frustrating, but I don't really know like how that happened. Um, but their name was not on the seating chart, which was kind of a bummer. And then I think the only thing I would want to probably like want to change about my wedding is I just think I would have might have put like a little bit more effort into my wedding cake. That was like the most like last minute thing that I worked on. And so when I got to the wedding, I was like, oh, this isn't like exactly my dream come true as far as the cake. But it was cute and it still did its service and it tasted amazing. But I feel like styling wise i wouldn't say it was like my dream dream cake other than that i am so happy with the wedding i'm so thankful and it was just the best day of my life okay, on today's agenda we are filming with mrs jenny allen i'm so excited we're going to her studio right now trying to find her Get out of here. you're so tan <gasps> i know i just breathed in because i went to california oh my god i haven't seen you since the wedding have we <laughs> Hi! <laughs> you know what? I just hung out with your friends yesterday. Angela and Ari? Yes! I, I saw on your story. They, they are so literally sweet. the best. They are the best. Are it was here? so fun. You're in here and, and I think I'm a left sider. It's like the, with the left side's always the person asking. Oh yeah, I feel like the host always sits on Yeah, it's like I don't some. Know that. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Excited? Yeah. Yes, I am. This is going to be so fun. We love Jenny. Yes, we do. How is it? It's really nice because every question is like, gadget, like, what did you do? And he said, well, no. He said, you just aren't alone in your game. And I, I often find myself remaking scenarios of past bullies and people that hurt me. I still feel anxious. Mm -hmm. You know that feeling in the pit of your stomach. When I see this, these people, I cannot get over the fact that they hurt me and they gave, they gave me too much importance. It is later. We are now getting some food. We actually don't know where we, where we want to go. We're hungry though. Very hungry. Uh, so the podcast went super well. We went back, filmed some content, sang a little on the piano, which was funny to do that in the next vlog, but we don't know where to go. This is marriage. I'm on one side of the street, she's on that side. And it's like, where do you want to go? And she's like, you pick. And I'm like, I let's go here. my entire life. <laughs> I'm tired of Are choosing. you a pick me? I'm just kidding, let's find no. something. Hello. Oh. This is what our nighttime routine consists of. Using our matching toothbrushes. 
From Surrey. These okay, things are dope. Question. For a million dollars, a million dollars, but you couldn't brush your teeth for two years. Would you do it? I don't know. Because I brush my teeth literally three to four times a day. Three to four? Yeah. And, like, bad breath is, like, my number one thing. For two years. And. You can't brush your teeth. Wait, in two years, if you didn't brush your teeth, you'd like lose your teeth because they would rot. I had to buy all new teeth afterwards. What can I? Can, what can I do? Can I use mouthwash? Um, uh, you can do anything but brushing. What would y'all do? I am very torn. A million bucks. So I would, I would take the money, and I would do alternative things to keep it clean. You know. Like what? Uh, I heard you can use tree bark. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I love to brush my teeth.